Hello, welcome to Spurred On. This is Spurverse Part 2 with me, Rhys James, and this guy, Craig Mitch. Uh, part 2 this week, we're excited about planning permission, which I'm not normally that excited about. But we've got some extra planning permission for the big lane, which is coined by Barnaby Slater as the new stadium we're getting. We've got extra planning permission to have a basement level and yeah. to have big NFL-style changing rooms, huge changing rooms, mm -hmm. or locker rooms, as they'll call it over there, uh, and even to have a room underground, I presume, Presumably for plants mm. is what they've said. Don't know what that means. Uh, although I have, it does sound quite I levy. Don't wanna, I don't want to speculate. Yeah, too I, much. I'm going to speculate. Okay. I don't even know what kind of plants he's talking about. This seems absolutely classic levy. We're getting into kind of Breaking Bad type territory. Uh, he's just going to be. That's how he's going to be funding us getting Lionel Messi uh, and players like that. Uh, is he's going to be selling some sweet, sweet green. What I find more interesting is the fact that Haringey have given them permission. I mean, they've got something right for once. I yeah. live in Haringey, and that, believe me, it's a shithole. So uh, thank you, Haringey. Instead of just giving you know out expensive parking tickets all the time and just you know making sure the area is not run properly you've decided to give planning permission for big lane thank you for getting something right wouldn't be telling the maniacs on youtube where you live mate yeah Harrogate is a big place. <laughs> so, yes, <that's> right. <laughs> a lot smaller now though, it's just a stadium in your house. Yeah. Um, but also there's talks of like this leading to the, us having like part of being part of the London NFL franchise. Mm. It's like becoming basically a completely Americanized club, getting bought out by some Yanks. Uh, so we've got loads of money to buy stuff. But also it means that like an NFL team will be playing at our stadium, mm. which does concern me about the pitch. And the quality of why? the pitch Have you seen White Hart Lane? I mean, White Hart Lane isn't a great stadium, but our pitch is like a Persian rug. Yeah, the groundsman, get him a medal. <laughs> Get him a medal, our groundsmen are the best. Sorry, when was the last time you successfully played football in football boots on a Persian rug? Uh, I'm just God, saying, it's that has changed you, man. I know, what can I say, Unbelievable. Man. But also, I mean, we don't have an NFL team playing on White Hart Lane. That's why the pitch is so good. It's, so obviously, I, I have faith NFL in our groundsmen. That's all I'm going to say. Listen, yeah. you're doing a fabulous job, man. Another love letter from Mitch. Yeah. This time to the groundsmen. God, it's all going wrong. Everyone um, at the club deserves their plaudits. <laughs> Fair enough. Interesting. Yeah, from, and for want of a better word, grassroots level, yeah. uh, we need to be appealing to everyone. Are we, are we still going to have that like fake grass intertwined with real grass in our pitch, do you think? I don't know. I mean, Seems to be working out. Yeah, it could do. They could do. It would be interesting to see how this, you know, the whole stadium and everything turns out. But I know we are going to have the best stadium in the country. And uh, Woolwich fans are just going to be absolutely jealous. Yeah, especially because <laughs> it's rumoured that our stadium is going to be the Nike Stadium. Oh. Or a better brand. But or Nike. The Emirates. They, they hate Nike. Nike. I'm gonna say or, Nike. you know, we, st we still like Under Armour. We have to plug other brands as well, just to be fair. The Under Armour Stadium would be crap, but it wouldn't be as bad. It would be so Spursy if you've yeah. got like the Etihad and the Emirates and we end up being the Ryanair Stadium Ooh. or the EasyJet Stadium and it's all orange yeah. and the service is appalling and <laughs> the games start three hours late. Yeah, and there's just no leg room at all. <laughs> yeah, awful. Be terrible. <laughs> Uh, but we're still excited. We're excited about the planning commission. We're excited about the stadium. Uh, and that's what Spurvers is all about. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you're excited about the stadium, if you're worried about the pitch, all that sort of stuff. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. How's it going, guys? It's Craig Mitch here, joined by Reese James Hello. once again. And welcome to another episode of 